We start with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's trip to Russia. Kim's train reportedly crossed the border and arrived in Russia on Tuesday morning. Our Chen min -jung has been following the latest. min -jung, what do we know so far? Well, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has reportedly arrived in Hassan, Russia, located on the border of the two countries. According to Russian media and outlet Vesti Primorye on Tuesday, Kim is now heading to the city of Uzurisk, located 100 kilometers north of Vladivostok. Citing a Russian government source, Japan's Kuro News also reported that Kim's train had arrived at Hassan Station this morning. Japan News Network added that he was welcomed with a ceremony. South Korea's defense ministry also said Tuesday that it believes Kim entered Russia early this morning on his private train. The leader is reportedly being accompanied by his foreign minister, Choi Son -hee, as well as his top military officials. Kim's trip to Russia marks his first foreign trip since the COVID-19 pandemic, which forced North Korea to close its borders for more than three years. All right, we're expecting Kim to meet with Russian President Vladimir Putin for bilateral talks. What do we know so far? Right, the leaders are set to hold a meeting, and just moments ago, the Kremlin announced that Kim and Putin will hold a summit in the Far East within the coming days. The summit is widely anticipated to take place on either September 12th or 13th, possibly in Vladivostok. This is where the two leaders met for the first time more than four years ago, and it's also where the Russia-led Eastern Economic Forum, reportedly attended by Putin, is taking place until Wednesday. The Russian leader is also expected to host an official dinner for Kim. Now, talks between the two leaders will likely be focused on bilateral ties as well as an arms deal. Considering that a number of military personnel are on the trip, including the regime's two top military officials, Li byung and Park jong chan Seoul's defense ministry said it is closely watching whether the two countries will negotiate arms trade and technology transfer. The U.S. on Monday also threatened to aggressively enforce existing sanctions and add new ones if the regime decides to provide weapons to Russia. This is all I have for now, but I'll be back with updates on our next newscast. Back to you, Gangan. Thank you, Minjo, for the reporting.